Hello there. Um, so, this is going to be my first Vicky 3 video, except it wasn't supposed to be the first. I had a Papal States uh, playthrough, but uh, let me tell you, it was just horribly uninteresting. Uh, I decided to raw dog it, in fact, I even called it the raw dog campaign, and um, just go in blind without knowing the first thing about the game and figure it out, and you know, basically nothing happened. I basically just sat still as the Papal States and built up my economy, built up a bunch of... Uh, Soldiers, and really not much happened uh, until I decided to yellow a war against Austria for kicks and grins, just once again, because not much was happening. Uh, I filmed it, and I've decided to dump it. Now, one of the reasons, big reasons, not much was happening was the simple fact of I had no clue that the laws really mattered. And now you may be saying, well, genius, how, of course the laws matter. No, they really, really do matter. Some of the laws you were on at the beginning have horrible, horrible, horrible uh, effects. So, take for instance the Papal States here. What first law I started with was National Militia. The reason why this law sucks is because as the Papal States, you start off with three states. Now, take a look there. You only get five barracks as a max level per state. That means your standing military, when you start off as the Papal States, is 15 battalions. That's it. And when you're dealing with two Sicilies and Sardinia Piedmont fielding, oh, I don't know, 40 and 50 off the bat, and you've got 15, that's a problem. The other thing that's a problem is you just may say, well, go ahead and change the damn law. Yes, much easier said than done. Changing laws is a whole bunch of dice rolls to make you have better odds, you can suppress, you can bolster certain groups, but at the end of the day, it just comes to goddamn dice rolls, and holy hell, it can take forever. I literally passed professional army on my fifth try, and on the fifth try, it was a one-shot, but you may say, well, five other tries, that's not so bad. No, 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 no. A try can take years, because every 240 days or whatever the hell it is, you get a check, and then you see, well, does do your odds go up? Do your odds go down? And it keeps going and going and going. So, professional army, big freaking deal. Second one, taxes. Holy freaking hell taxes. Yeah, intervention versus traditionalism is nice. You get a little bit more in the investment pool. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can... Use that investment pool to build a lot of things. It's nice, not the biggest thing. But the other law that makes a huge difference, of course, you want colonial expansion, needs to be colonial. It's your tax law, though. Holy shit. When you start off land-based taxation versus what you can do later, it's night and day. Take a look. I'm currently on proportional. If I were to go to land-based taxation, I'd be it'd be a minus, you know, negative, it'd be a negative 29k difference. That's a big deal. Considering my taxes coming in are, right, there we go. There's the income, there's the consumption, there's the dividends. It's a big deal. It really matters. Even looking at the difference between per capita, per capita is much better. You just got to get out of land-based taxation. It is absolutely god-awful. It's just completely god-awful. I just, it, once you switch that tax law, suddenly I was just raking in the money and maybe it'll build things constantly. Everything's good to go. So wanted to point those two out because those made a big deal. Also, there's my little meme war there with Austria kicking my butt. Um, yeah, the other thing is, uh, you know, set up a little papal colony here because, you know, why not? Let's go get some coal. Have a full uh, four coal mines there. But some of the other tips and tricks, um, excuse me, as I hack up my lungs out here, is when you're setting up a colony, you need to have a port. No port, no connection to your market, everything is a problem. So once you can get that port set up, one, it'll give you some infrastructure. Two, importantly, it connects you to the market, so then you can actually get the goods, of the whole reason you're colonizing over there. So, yeah. The other thing, uh, some of my initial thoughts about the game I found very interesting is, one, Prussia actually was going pretty ham until they got um, smacked around a bit. They never formed North, North German Confederation. They also never formed Germany. 
Austria is surprisingly strong. You know, we're here in 1908. It's never fallen apart yet. France was doing good until France, uh, you know, decided to spit out Occitania when uh, it got shit on. Also, GB, done a great job. Have not seen it uh, having absolute clusterfucks of radicals and clusterfucks of civil wars like the Paradox streams. But some of the other interesting things, uh, yeah, look at what's going on here. Yeah, that is a beautiful United States, not. But we got our, uh, what, 51st state there of Sonora. We've got this little weird cancerous bulb in the United States, too. So, overall, it's just been a very, very, very weird, weird, really stinking weird uh, experience with Vicky 3. Uh, but like I said, I want to make this video just to tell you, change your stinking laws quickly. Uh, the reason for that is you will not be making money or you're going to have major military problems until you take care of those two things. Now, I know other countries are going to start with different laws, but as the papal states, basically the fact I have those two laws around for the longest time pretty much torpedoed the run. Um, so there's my thought there. Just wanted to kind of give you some quick tips. Uh, for Vicky, and we'll see what my campaign will be. I will probably, what, maybe give it another rules the Papal States here, or I might switch to somebody like the United States and, I don't know, try to run amok as a confederacy. Who knows? Um, those will be some of the obvious uh, runs to try later. Also, another thing I love, the United States of America colonizing the living shit out of Africa. Just, you know, why not? You know, just go for it. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you when hopefully I get a Let's Play up and going. I am enjoying the game a bit. Uh, the AI is not as derpy as I thought it was going to be. Um, with small states like Two Sicilies and uh, Sardinia Piedmont, I mean, they've actually done pretty good work in getting GDP up and getting population up. I uh, really, I mean, look at two Sicilies here. 226 battalions. They start with 50, I believe. It's pretty impressive. GDP, pretty stinking high also. So I am fairly impressed with the AI because I was just bracing for just complete dog shit AI. Uh, the AI is far from perfect, but it is not dog shit. Um, another thing, too, if you don't want to screw up your run, construction. Don't go overboard on it. Don't go to iron that quickly. You will also fuck everything up. Stay all wooden for quite a while if you are a smaller country. When you up it, you're you're really taking on a shit ton of people. You're going to have to pay constantly. And if you don't have the economy to support that, a.k.a. you don't have those advanced uh, taxation laws, you're going to have issues. Because, yeah, you can trade, you can get some different you know, different sources to get money in. But until you get your taxation sorted out, you are screwed. So, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.